Hi, buddy. Welcome back. I'm the Strides Professor. Today we're doing a little Nami action. Oh, he's running straight at him. Damn, I couldn't get the angle. I think she flashed. Yeah, she flashed. I wouldn't hit her anyways. Make sure she didn't get funked here. Okay, well. It's gonna make my level 1 a little bit weaker, but. Whatever. Um, so this is patch 8.15. Got the runes down here for you. We're just running standard airy, mana flow band, absolute focus, scorch. Uh, if you're watching from 8.16 and later, they are thinking about nerfing um, scorch, so we'll see what they do with it. But right now, these are the runes. If they ever do nerf it, um, you know, there are other options that are okay, too. I don't think the nerf would be that bad on Nami, because she trades so often. Like, what they're proposing is for it to keep the same amount of damage, but you have to trigger it every 10 seconds instead of every 20. So it would be a marginal impact to someone like Nami. Other people who harass less often than 10 seconds, though, would uh, definitely suffer a little bit. Pick Nami. Fiddle's banned this game. I had been running really hot with Fiddle. Pretty good with uh, Nami as well. Okay, this vein's actually putting in a little aggression. Alright, nice. Knocking her ass. has Comet? Let's realize that, okay. So we got double Comet action. Take another potion here. I want to try to stay over 70% so that I get the absolute focus. That adds quite a bit of AP in the early game. I think I'm just gonna beef her up a little bit so she can go in and trade because I'm kind of low. She could maybe run him down. I think she flashed. She may have just healed. Yi could also come down and clean us up. I really want to be level 4. I hate using just heal on myself, but I think if I get Lux blinded right now just with double comet, then I'm probably dead. So I might just take one heal on myself. She's really inefficient, but. They're supposed to win this lane pretty hard, but they're actually not winning that much. They're, they're up like maybe 2 CS or something. It's not that big of a deal. Fuck. Right out of range. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Whoa, she still got her flash? Oh my god. 
Did that literally just come back up? She has caught she probably has cosmic insight for five percent less cooldown and flash. I think we gotta go one more, right? It's gonna freeze a really bad place, but at the same time... Okay, he's top. And we could've... We could've gone one more on it, I think. But... That may have stopped our back also. I guess it's just... We gotta take it. Alright, let's do, um... Do one fairy charm and that. My quest I hate on this patch how... And mess up all the nameplates on your side. Okay, we're ahead. Even though she has more, um, so yeah, she's greeting out for the Bilgewater. Why didn't she get... Doesn't Bilgewater also have a longsword component? Oh, she got boots. Okay. <clears throat> Either way, we're really far ahead of right now. So if we can force a fight, particularly at level 6... Their poke is pretty strong early. Yeah, I should have waited, dude. If he would have waited, we could have cleaned him up. Like, we know they don't have flash. How close is he to six? Uh, she's six. So we gotta be ready to flash an ash arrow if she throws it. She probably won't do it under tower, but they would really like to be able to make a play. Okay, well that's enough for us to turn this around, I think. Changed dirt for a really long time. And they changed something about it, but I don't know what. Mm. Always run it this way. I feel like we need boots right now. If we get one more kill, I'll do ardent. Otherwise, I might start with um, Athenes or Redemption. We'll see. Hey, what's up, Charles? What's up, One Trick? Still do have exhaust. What 
What is she? Oh, she's going Bloodthirster. Okay. I'm used to Vayne going Blather and King. Maybe Bloodthirster is the thing to do here. Can't do anything. Jesus. So much damage. They might dive here. Water Drake's really annoying. How are we out of mana? I guess she's used her roll several times. gives vision. Little known fact. You invaded them without any vision of where they are when we're pinging that they're missing. Like, that's not our fault. Damn. I thought maybe she wouldn't be looking. Wait, now she's going Bilgewater. What the hell? Why wouldn't you just go Bloodthirster at that point? I mean, I don't think Bloodthirster's ideal, but it's better than DF Sword into delay your entire itemization. I mean, what is she going to do with that DF then? It doesn't build in a Gensu. Like, Blather and King Gensu's is kind of the standard Bane build right now, which is slow to start, but it's really strong if you get those two items. Pretty bad lane placement, but we don't know where Yi is, so. Thing's not doing well enough, I don't think. I'm gonna have to. Come on, let's go, 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 go. Um. Yeah, she screwed herself really hard with this build, because it makes no sense. So we're really, really far behind right now. Dude, please, like, they're missing, bro. Like, it's like the way that League of Legends works, most of the time, you want to have complete items. 
because you get special, you know, passives and actives on items that are a lot more powerful than just the raw stats themselves. So, like, having a completed Blade of the Run King right now would be far stronger than having a BF Sword Bilgewater, which is what Ash has. So that's a huge, that's a huge issue. I knew she didn't have her bind, because she already tried to hit me with it, so we had about an eight second window there. I thought that Yi was gonna be down here, but I needed to get the hits off the tower so that I could complete my um Warding item. An ally has been slain. Drake's actually really good for Nami. No, that's a little different, Kappa. That's something that you don't want to do, but that you might have to do, is to stop and get a defensive item. Like, to get a cloth armor or a chain vest. Like, when you're building offensive items, like, there's no good reason why she should get a BS sword and then get a bilge water. Because Blade of the Rune King is so good to complete on her, or even Bloodthirster, like. Yo, what's up, Scavenger? There's always another yeah, I mean, sometimes you have to adapt. You can't always go by, like, what's permanently best. What does she got? Okay, so now she's got Blade. Um, okay, I'll do, uh, I'll do Arden. I just don't know what she's gonna do next. But whatever. I mean we did have a small power window there where she had BF sword and Ash didn't. And that was part of when we got those two kills. So maybe we don't get those two kills if she doesn't have BF sword, so I guess that's fair speculation, but Like what? The only BF options are Infinity Edge, which you would not want without, you know, other crit items. Um, People are counting. Infinity Edge, which you wouldn't want without other crit items. You could do a BF Sword or a um, Bloodthirster. Yeah, 
missed it. Okay, they got it. Wait, where did they? Oh, they're... Put Rift bottom. Wukong should be able to stop that, I think. I guess it could be like Essence Reaver. Uh, we should probably get out of here, I think. Wayne's popping off, baby. Get him, Wayne. <laughs> oh, you're right, you're right. I forgot about Storm Razor. It's probably Storm Razor. I forgot about that. It's probably Storm Razor. All right. Um, I guess we'll just do Redemption here. I could have completed that other uh, component, but... Tarek's kind of a tough one, yeah. After he, um, after that damage nerf to his E and the nerf to his ult is pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I was blanking out on that. It's only the most popular AD carry item on this batch. It's not something that you usually see on Bane, though, which is partially why it didn't compute, but... Yeah, I still don't like the build. Yeah, that's what she's gonna get. But it's not... It's not unplayable. And their there are worse things out there. I, I still think that probably the, uh... Boy of the Rune King and the Gensus is probably better. Because I'm pretty sure that Gensus allows you to... Double proc bolts. I'm not 100% about that. I know it allows you to double proc... Um, blade, Killing and obviously speed. the faster attack speed is very good with silver bolts, even if it doesn't pr double proc them. But I don't know if it double procs silver bolts or not. I think it's on attack and not on hit, technically, but I'm not sure. It might double proc the silver bolts. If it does, it's definitely really, really good on it. It procs the bolts, okay, yeah. That that's what I would probably get on base. Like you are weaker early. Sure. Sort of. I mean Blather and King's a pretty decent, you know, early item. It's just not as good as uh Not as good as other champion with storm Ra other champions with storm razor, but she is very good against um, tanks, especially if you go with the Blader and King storm razor. So I think Vayne definitely has a place in the meta now that some tanks are starting to come back a little bit. But Nami's very good with Vayne. Um, no, yeah, 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 we gotta get out of here. Go ahead and roll out. Well, maybe. Baron, I don't know. I don't feel like we really need to risk Baron right now just because they have a Lux who could in theory steal it. We have such a good skirmishing comp. I'm not Fiddle this time. Like with Fiddle, baiting Baron's almost always pretty sweet. Because I have that ult. I mean, Wukong does have his ult too, but.
we're not really getting anywhere here. Let's just spec up. That's fine. I guess we could do a bait baron if they're just gonna group up like that. Vayne's probably got like 3,000 gold or something. What's she buying? She hasn't been back in a really long time. I thought maybe we could just bulldoze our way in there, but they do have a bit too much wave clear. What's hot right now? Hey, what's up, Dan? You talking about support? Or which role? I almost finished the mid-tier list. I'll probably finish it after the stream tonight. I fell asleep for a bit and my alarm clock didn't go off. As far as support goes, um, Fiddle's really, really good right now. I think Fiddle's probably the best overall. On my tier list, I had him at number two, but after playing you know, a few more days on this patch, I think he's probably number one. Fiddle's really good. I think that um, Nami's still really good. Nami's been very good for several patches. She's been S tier for a while. Um, with him about it. I did hit three people with it, ironically enough. I'm pretty sure I did. I hit the two or three people that were all on the Garen. Uh, I don't have mana. Okay, they surrendered. Well, that's an easy way to do it, too. Uh, Soraka's okay. I would rather play Sona or Dami, probably. Fiddle was banned, Kappa. Alright, well that's going to be it for the Nami video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It was a pretty good one. Um, you know, we managed a tough lane. We knew it was going to be pretty hard. I thought it was going to be Brand. Um, Ash. Lux Ash is marginally a little bit better for us in the landing phase, but still a pretty tough one. Uh, be sure to check out the channel. I do stream every night starting around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We do have tier lists every patch for support and AD carry, and I'm trying to do other tier lists as well, you know, mid, top, jungle. We have guides for all sorts of champions, you know, Sona, Lulu, Nami, Soraka. Tons of guides on the channel, so check that out. And then, um, yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you very much. Have a good day. See you next time.